Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 26 of Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. In the last episode we got this cool looking armor and we also did the phytogenic insulators down here. Uh, and I kind of messed up and I set these to 40,000 but I didn't set the machines to be redstone high. Or something was wrong, uh, I had the level emitters. Bup, bup, bup. Network tool. Oh, there it is. I'm like, slightly blind. Uh, but these were still running for some reason because this was set to the wrong setting. So we have 160,000 of each wood. And when we get to underneath 40,000, these will turn back on. Uh, and I kind of changed the the guys back here uh, to just be on an insert on a different channel because these are extracting and inserting here. And there were just regular inserts here on, I think, uh, on thing green. And then the other stuff was going into it. The saplings is what I'm trying to say. Also, uh, this is a thing. I kind of removed the old uh, network uh, ME controller, the network controller, I guess, uh, that was here. That was just like uh, five by five with a hole in the center, kind of. Uh, and I kind of did this, and it looks uh, horribly messy, but I think it's very well organized, but it's okay. Uh, I didn't do these guys yet. These are not not hooked up yet. Uh, I kind of forgot about those yesterday, but everything else should be hooked up. And if you see here, I have... Um, the way I have the channels, basically, is I have brown and black on top, and the brown goes to this side over here and this side over there, and then the black goes to the other side, so basically over to there. You can see a little bit of the snippet of the black cable and also a little snippet of the black cable over there. Uh, and then these sides, I just uh, went with blue, which is, I believe, down here. That's blue, and that's light blue, or cyan, I think, and then they're... That one's orange, that one's yellow, uh, because the black and the uh, the brown don't have enough channels to support all of that that we need, because that's two there and two there. And then I also changed, if we go up here, we have another dense cable coming up here, because I think one of the rooms, I don't know which one, but one has like 30 out of something channels used. Uh, probably here by the smelting. Yeah, 30 out of 32 channels used. So that's basically all the channels that we can muster on, on one side. So basically this guy is going to feed into this side of the channels and this side of the channels. And then we have a guy like here. It's 15 channels again, because if we have all five filled up with channels, we get exactly 30 because it's five wide and five channels on top. So you get 15 per wall kind of. And then you have two, two to spare, which is really nice. So basically, 32 channels here, 32 channels for these two, 32 channels for this one and this one, and the same for here. Uh, and that's kind of the same on all sides. And also here, we have 32 channels per two sides, which I think is plenty. Uh, but I needed more channels because the controller was getting uh, kind of crammed and all that. Uh, and then I have on the, I think it's on the lime, all of them, I have these, which are going kind of up top here. And I think I just connected like one little cable here. Uh, that goes over to here, and we have currently just four channels used uh, for, I mean, four channels are used for this, but we have, let's say, 19 channels going up here to this, and also I want to connect these guys right now. Uh, let's grab some glass cable, or Fluix cable. Fluid. I'll just type cable because I have all the colors. We need a green, a lime, a brown, and a pink. We're going to do that much. Uh, so we're going to put a pink one here. Uh, I, actually, I don't even need a pink one here. I can just connect all of these with the regular Fluix cable, uh, to be honest. So we're going to grab Fluix cable, and I'm just going to grab cable anchors just so we don't connect Whoops, to this side because this already has too many channels anyway. Uh, so that's going to be five channels here. And I can put, for example, a sink if I would want to, but I have it set up down here, and I think it's fine that way. Uh, if we get another fluid for some reason, if we want to store something here, we can do that as well. Uh, but I uh, kind of uh, will show you what I wanted to do with this. So we can just bring the, I have the dense, so let's do dense conduits and bring it just over to here. How do we want to do this? I'll just go from here, from the middle, and we're going to go up top like that. I think that's fine, and we can do that and th uh, but, 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 let's do this because it's going to be cleaner and remove that one. Nice. Okay, so that's going to connect and do fluid. Why are you missing channels? You should have plenty of channels. It's 24 out of something channels. Oh, it connected. Okay, and we can just do a priority 10 partition 
your priority 10. Somebody asked why a partition. Uh, it's basically if I empty this, for example, if I empty all of my meat, which is never going to happen, but if I do, let's say, uh, and uh, the fluid storage bus wasn't partitioned, uh, then something else could go into the drum because that isn't, uh, that isn't, uh, like it doesn't retain the liquid if it empties, is what I'm trying to say. Even though I have all of these on filters for what can go in, but the fluid storage bus, if I have something else coming in with, let's say, an import bus or a fluid import bus into the system, it would go into the drum and fill up and then we, it would be a bad time, bad news bear. Uh, and over here, I believe, I don't know how you select which item you want. I would assume you need a bucket for it. So if we do a bucket of pink slime and click it here. Ha, there we go. Okay, so that's just gonna do pink slime. Uh, and it's gonna say one KB. And then if we do some buckets, go up here, let's grab a bucket of essence, a bucket of XP and a bucket of meat. So if we do essence over here, liquid XP and meat. I don't know, the liquid XP is the only one that shows like really nicely. I would assume I have to use different colored cables, but um, what if we do, what if we just do these? Let's go inside. Uh, let's see, if I pop this off and give you just a regular smart cable, how are you gonna look? Do you reset? Fluid essence, it says. It's gonna just, okay, it's the same, so I just can keep it green. I didn't even need to go inside, that's fine. We're gonna do like that, and then just grab some facades, and we can do these. I don't know which ones I did here. Uh, I have my network tool on. I did the, oh yeah, I did the, 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 this one, this one, these ones, like that, like that, like that, and I'll just place a basic cable here, and if we have another fluid storage monitor, we can place it up top when we have it, um, because I don't think I made, I made, oh, I didn't make the other one, but we can just put it up top and leave it be as an, a blank one. But I think that looks cool. That's kind of, kind of how we have fluid storage. We have our compact machines here if we need more of them. And then we have our drives, which is really neat. Uh, these are still some of the spawners that I have that I don't think I'll ever need, uh, which is fine. We can actually do this. We can just break this guy and do spawners. And then we toss it in the system and it's gone forever. Okay, uh, neat. So I wanted kind of to do building today for uh, for Thomcraft, but I don't think I'll have enough time. So I think I'll postpone that till until next episode, even though I've been postponing it for a while. Um, what I think we can do, uh, since I just thought about it and people said it in the comments, uh, we can do these with compactors. And I think I can do the kind of the same thing I did uh, for with well for Xnet or with Xnet the way I have the controllers and all that I would have to just move a little bit of these drawers and those drawers over there and it's going to be more of a compact system and the compactors are faster than the metal presses which is first thing I think uh, so once we use some of the plates they're going to get made up faster uh, I also removed all of the drawers and they're currently just in a temporary holding space over here I could even put them in the back but that's fine uh, these are all the empowered stuff, and then coal coke we can automate. Uh, you know what? Uh, now that I like, I look at it. Let's just grab this, and let's go automate coal coke and treated wood. Uh, I think that should be good. And we're gonna get to the compactors in a moment. Okay, so let me choose a spot. We need a redstone furnace first of all. Uh, furnace. We need one of uh, you. Hello. Oh right, huh. uh, I need to. I know what. I know what's wrong. I didn't P2P tunnel these guys, uh, so we need to. We need to sort these guys out. Uh, so let me do that in a moment, uh, or right now, and I'll be back once I have uh, a spot for Kokok. So this is going to be a bit of a weird cabling job because I have the travel anchor here. I kind of can't cable it directly through here, and I'm still going to see if this guy is going to be facaded properly because I have some of these, but I don't know if I can rotate them. Because uh, if I look at what the other wrench, what if I do, if I put it on the X? Oh, I can rotate it, nice, okay, sweet. Uh, so that would mean I could run it in those, but I don't think it's really that necessary. I think I have these should be the, 
Nope, those are the mosaic ones. Uh, did I not make? <clears throat> oh yeah, I made more mosaic because I thought I was going to run it in there, but I didn't. So we're going to just run it like this. And we have to go make a few more conduit facades. Uh, and then we need facade. Uh, that's the circular sandstone, which is a need, and I need this mosaic. So that one, and then circular sandstone goes on there, and then mosaic goes on here, and I need... <clears throat> Uh, this should be the mosaic, or the one that I... Uh, it's that one. Aha. Possibly this one as well. That's a paint the glowstone. Facade. This one, definitely. Boom. Okay. And this one. Okay, so how I did it is basically this top one on the light blue is going to be connected to here. Uh, just because I can, I can have it that way, I guess. Uh, and also, one reason why I did the whole expansion of... Uh, all of the um, amount of facades, all of the uh, all of the P2P tunnels is because I want to get into quantum rings, uh, which I think are accessible to us now. This is not that difficult, the quantum ring, but the quantum link chamber requires the quantum entangleporter, which requires uh, a teleporter, a dragon heart. So we might we're gonna have to go kill a few more dragons. Uh, the teleporter frames are just refined obsidian and glowstone ingots, which we could automate as well. Matter beamer, not a problem. We have the machine frame. The teleporter is just steel casings, uh, basic control circuits, and teleportation units, which is atomic alloy, which I did make. Uh, we have that automated, so that is not a problem. Uh, we do need the singularities. So the, uh, the singularity, uh, if we look at this, requires a matter condenser, and the matter condenser requires a quantum compressor, uh, with an elite compressing factory on the left slot and then 10,000 pistons to make a matter condenser and the quantum Compressor is this and for that we need all of these Which is a whole lot of black iron and I don't know how I made black iron. Oh tough alloy and Inwar. Okay, that's doable now that I have an induction smelter or even HOP graphite or just regular graphite Oh, that's fine graphite blocks. That's just coal and invar. That's not a problem. Can you just do like invar ingots? Oh, you can even do black quartz. That's even better because we have insane amounts of black quartz or coal coke. Okay, that's that's doable. So we can get that and at, at some point and we can then transfer our P2P tunnel channels over to the base where we're just going to have the Thumbcraft and Botania stuff. And we can basically just do, for example, uh, a quantum ring set up like down here somewhere. Possibly put them on the corners or something. I put the... Uh, the miniaturization field over here, we could even move that if, ne if need be and use qu and put quantum rings. Well, actually, quantum rings would fit perfectly in these corners. And we can just put P2P tunnels somewhere on top of them. I don't know yet. Or maybe we can put them like in the middle here and then just P2P tunnel directly onto them. That could be also cool. So yeah, uh, let me get the rest of the four hooked up. I actually need to see which one I did. The lighter blue one, which I'm just going around. And this is on X, so I don't see all of the conduits. There we go. Uh, so let's put this on there. So yeah, let me wire the rest of these up and I'll be back in a momento. All four of them are wired up, and I've gone for a little bit of a cleaner approach. I didn't go through here and then down through here. I just went through the middle, so we have four cables going around the middle here. And we can probably cover up that floor as well and cover up the cables eventually. Because uh, we don't really... I mean, we need to access the P2P tunnels down here, which kind of we really can't do right now. But uh, if need be, we can make those, uh, like, one of those blocks where you can fly through them. Like Astral, not Astral. Uh, the one is from Batania. Uh, I forget how they're called, but uh, like uh, plane something something. I forget. I can't recall right now. But it's uh, the 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 the. I can't remember. This guy, no, abstruse platform. That's the one, or spectral platform, or infrangible platform. One of those abstruse, I think, is the one that we need. Uh, we could use those or something else. But uh, time to set up the creosote. I set it up over blah, 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 over here. Uh, I have the redstone furnace with the pyrolytic conversion augment. And then we need a regular drawer. Regular drawer. Put that here. Whoops. And we can also break all of these. And then add smart cables. And put a drawer here. And we need a piece of coal and also we need 
Um, um, um. Can we use charcoal? I have to test. Because if I can use charcoal, I have automatically creating charcoal and wood is infinite. Either coal is also infinite, but I don't have the sieves turned on right now. So if we could use charcoal, that would be even better. Um, I wanted the storage downgrade thingies, this guy's. Okay, so we're gonna put that there. Uh, and then an export bus, exporting. Can I use charcoal? No, regular coal, yeah. All righty, that's fine. I'm gonna put in coal. Uh, and I need to hook this up to some AE power, which is going to be that one. That side over there is going to be two. And then this guy is going to be coming to here, to this side and that side. So that's fine. Okay. So we're getting coal now. I also need to grab my drawer keys so we can have everything nice and pretty. So I'm going to do that. And we can also give you a an acceleration card will do. And I believe here we can do auto input and auto output, so we don't even need any conduits. Uh, we can just do that. And that should start making creosote oil, which we're gonna output probably up to the top or actually to the back, I think. Uh, that will be fine. So that's gonna be making coal coke. And we're gonna put this in probably, I would love to have a tank that voids access, which is probably the, uh, the tank from uh, mechanism, but uh, it's okay. Uh, so the next thing we need is a pulverizer. We're gonna need coal coke dust eventually to make HOP graphite ingots. So we're gonna just do that. The pulverizer is a crusher from actually additions, which wasn't that difficult to make. And then flint large plates, which we can automate with a compactor, I think as well. Uh, if we look at, I just need to look at pulverizer just so I can get to the plates. Is this only metal press recipe? Oh, so we do need metal presses. Then I might just leave it metal presses, even though compactors are faster. Um, or maybe we'll change the compactors for some other things. But this is going to be a quest as well. Uh, let me just wait till I get it. There you go. Uh, and we can put this here and one, two, three of those. And then we can just say auto input left side, output right side. And we need a drawer. Just a basic one. And you can start outputting to here. Then we're going to put a storage bus on you and do a quantify and a lock. And we're going to say priority 10 and then a level emitter right here. And we're going to say work with high redstone. And we're going to say this 1024 and emit when levels are below limit. And that should start running. You can put the coal coke back and the charcoal and coal can go into the ME system as, so, as long as I'm not a lag machine, which this base kind of is, but that's okay. We're going to slowly move away from to, to do magic, which hopefully is going to be less laggy. This, come on. Come on, game. I know you want me to play. Please? No? Okay. For treated wood, we can use a bucket of creosote oil, which is a thousand millibuckets, uh, to make eight, which is basically uh, wasting 200 millibuckets of... of treated uh, or creosote oil, which I guess it's fine, but you can use the fluid infuser, even though it's gonna use a bit more power, but power is infinite anyway, we can just use planks and 100 millibuckets of creosote oil to make one treated with plank, and apparently it's gonna go very fast. Uh, but to make the fluid infuser, I need to automate a few things here. Uh, I mean, I have a little bit of the things automated, I just need to automate uh, graphite, which, uh, we don't have in the system, so we're just gonna grab a compacting drawer. Uh, why was that? Oh, that needs to be, oh yeah. We, um, you know what? We can do graphite blocks uh, crafting wise because I have the smelters this way. Uh, so can I make graphite out of charcoal? Uh, gra height. We can just put in a recipe for graphite blocks to be honest. The graphite bar is graphite dust. Uh, Graphite blocks, graphite block, this graphite ingot. It is, could be charcoal. Let's just use charcoal then. Uh, cool, so we're gonna put you here and you should be making graphite, right? Yep, okay, we're gonna put a graphite ingot in here. Uh, that's fine, and then we're gonna grab some more charcoal and we'll put you in here and lock it, quantify it. And then I need to put in this guy so we can do an export over here. Uh, we can do auto sort on, site config is going to be, 
Uh, we need a back on extract and then insert. So we need the back to be input and then output to the right auto eject. So that is going to be making us that. We need an acceleration card. And that is too slow, so we're going to need a couple acceleration cards. That'll be better. Black keep up. Three. Go. Okay. And then HOP or HOP graphite 124. Emit when levels are below and you're on redstone high. So once it's below, it should fill up that. Then we also need over here just to grab the graphite. And we need like that make a graphite block. So that'll be cool. I'll just put this in the vanilla section. It doesn't really matter. It's a block. And now we can make a fluid infuser, I think. Do we have everything? Yes. Nice. Okay. So over here, I have an idea on how we want to control these, uh, this redstone furnace. So we're just going to grab a tank. I think I made a bunch of these fluid storage tanks. Boom. Uh, and we're just gonna do, we're gonna do a conduit because I don't think I need creosote oil in the system to be honest. And then we're gonna put in a drawer here for that. And we can just export wood directly. I don't think we need to have uh, another crafter. Um, I mean, to be honest, we could do, because I have planks in the system to be crafted, I think. Uh, but if we put a, if we grab a, whatchamacallit, da, 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 from thermal, sequential fabricator, fabricator, this guy. And if I do wood, makes into planks, and then I need some, and I can just export, I can just conduit, I don't need to have that here. Yeah, we can do that, that, that way it's going to be a bit more visible. And then we do drawer, drawer. Uh, another two and then I'm gonna have to extract all my treated wood out of the system uh, so then let's just do lock 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 quantify 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 and then we can do an export we need a kit and then some more augments augment so we do that one two three and can you auto input? I think there's a there's an augment that can do side accessibility, so I don't have to use conduits. Uh, I mean, I can just use uh, just use conduits in the back, and then I don't have to worry about uh, having too much wood in the system. So let's do a crafting card and a couple acceleration ones, and that should start getting us wood when when I connect it to the ME system like so yep okay uh, then we're gonna do a, a filter one of these and grab some item conduits and we can do bam bam we do insert we're gonna do a filter I need to grab a stack of these so we can put them right here. And then say an extract always active. So that'll just keep a stack. Once we set the back to the input, it's just gonna keep a stack in here. We're gonna give you this and say, oh, <laughs> that's gonna make it true. That's a waste of wood. Cause I have planks automatically made here. I don't know. I'm just, just no, that's just bad, bad Fiki. It's not gonna work. I mean, I don't want to have it that way. So, because I wanted to have the creosote showing, but I don't think I will. Uh, we're just gonna do, uh, we're just gonna do drawer, drawer, and the queue. So <laughs> I get the fluid infuser, pick up that drawer, and we can toss the acacia wood in the system, and we can grab planks. The smart cable back. Maybe we'll need that for something. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. So we're gonna do that and export planks. And I need to put this on. And then quantify and lock or the other way around. Okay, now we need 
um, conduits in the back for fluid. So let me set a little bit of this up. The way I set this up is we're gonna have two 64 millibucket fluid storage tanks for the storage of creosote oil, just so we fill in the spots and it's kind of gonna look pretty, I think. And I can just put a facade on the back if I have any more. I have a, a couple of here. I'll, I'll do that off camera. But basically the redstone furnace has a fluid import bus on the bottom. And then we have these two uh, fluid storage buses configured on creosote oil. I could even, instead of doing uh, which possibly will be better because then things won't go into my system. So we're just going to do an output on the back, grab that fluid storage bus, and grab fluid conduits. And we're going to give you here and here. And then we can say extract always active, and we're going to insert on red, and here we're going to extract, or insert on green, and we're going to extract on red here on these extract on red and we're going to insert not this but this we're going to insert on red so this is going to then output to the back we have an extract always active on that and that should be going into here if i have everything configured correctly that's all connected so are you still making you're just yeah slowly running out because you're making 4000 okay that's fine so it's going to just wait until we get creosote oil to make 4000 96 I believe is what I set this to uh, so once that finishes the creosote oil is gonna back up uh, And that way if I do any more fluid storage buses anywhere around the base This is just not gonna start importing it directly uh, into those which will be better If we have it that way, so the control for this I want to have two different types. I want to control the coke uh, the coal coke on uh, the uh, let's say 2000 mark or so. And then I want to control the creosote, creosote oil on the fluid mark. Uh, so basically we're gonna have a fluid level emitter right here. And then we're gonna have a regular level emitter down here. And we're gonna do redstone conduits, just need three. Uh, and we're gonna put them like so, and like so, and like so. So this is gonna output or have an input on the red, an input on the red. And here we're gonna set creosote oil uh, or cold coke even on the bottom one and we're going to say emit when levels are below limit and this is going to be redstone high so when it drops below 1024 it's going to emit a signal uh, so that is fine and this should be on an output on red so there there and then this guy if I can reach him is going to be creosote oil, and we're going to say 128,000. That's going to be 128,000 emit when levels are below limit. So that's emitting a signal now, and this should be running and, and making us creosote oil. And the really cool part about this, if creosote backs up, this still continues to make cold coke, just, I think, a tiny bit slower, but it still does work. So that's really cool. And the cold coke, I presume, is going to just be made a bunch of it, or a bunch of it is going to be made. I hate when drawers do that. Um, and yeah, that should pretty much be it. Every time it makes it, I think it makes 250. So every two operations, it makes five. Uh, and then it's just gonna finish eventually at 4096. So that's creosote oil done. And we can grab facades and just cover this up like so. And like so. And then grab another set of conduits or cables, I sh should say. Some of these. I just made a thousand off camera because I, I can. Whoops. That's my nutrition. Which I fixed in between episodes, so it's a hundred again. <laughs> I just went vein mining without the meat feeder. Uh, we also need some of these facades. So let's grab a sandstone of uh, Celtic. Uh, did I do Celtic? I think I did tiles in the back. It doesn't that matter that much. You're not going to see it once the tank is full anyway. So we're just going to do bam. Bam. Oh, and we can also do, we can also grab two of these and just toss them there. And can I reach that one? I can. There, haha. -ha. So then the tops are covered and you don't really see anything other than the tile. Oh, we could even do two more right here i just need to put my network tool on just so i can see through the facades and then i can believe click it like that 
you just click it on top of the thing and then it looks much much nicer because it hides everything even though that's kind of indented but it does work it's making treated wood and it's really cool I checked on the length of the episode and we don't have much time yet so I just decided to craft everything <laughs> from thermal expansion except cinnabar I don't I need to make some ores if I want to get cinnabar or I think I can use cinnabar ore but I don't think I found any uh, I don't have any cinnabar ore or anything I think it spawns on other planets anyway but uh, this thing requires rosin as well or this uh, fractionating still makes rosin with a sawmill if we put 20 wood in, inside it's gonna make 20 resin 200 resin I think and that it has a 50% chance of making rosin and also tree oil so we're just gonna take the rosin to get uh, to get that and I just have a nullifier up here uh, avoiding everything but I did make all the dynamos all the augments as you can see in my inventory I have all of them so we're just gonna toss all of these in the system and forget about them or at some point maybe we'll use dynamos for power maybe I don't know if it's worth it uh, but we probably can get module machinery or uh, advanced generators and get that going better uh, but we're just gonna grab this and that and the power cell because we don't need it anymore. Uh, and now I'm going to do a, a big cut. And I'm going to just collect all of these. And open all of these. I'll put everything we get into a storage crate. And we can look at it together. I opened all the chests. And these are all the resources. Or the rewards that we got. A bunch of food which we're never going to eat. So I'm just going to toss all of this into the trash can. Because I can. Because uh, we have nutrition full. It would be really good in the beginning. That like really helps when you get food from the upgrades but we got resonant conversion kits so we can use two of those to, uh, we can use two of those to upgrade some of the machines that we would want to resonant but eventually we're going to have enderium for days anyway so we're just going to upgrade everything to resonant anyway uh, the mana dust is really nice because the recipe for these are all of these these four we can get but the mana powder mana diamonds we currently don't have botania set up that much so uh, it's not that difficult, but it's useful for making Gaia pylons and Gaia spirit ingots, and that requires mana fused. It's so much stuff. Uh, okay, and then we got Insanium, which again is really cool. One Insanium is this, and the Master Infusion Crystal is a Celestial Altar recipe, uh, which for this we're going to require at least second tier Blood Magic, Arcane Pedestals, Thaumium as well, which is going to be going to be a whole thing when we do magic. Uh, and then also we got another inventory upgrade uh, that we don't have on us right now. We can just eat that. Uh, we can have an extended inventory. Where are my quantum suit is hiding? Uh, <laughs> so we have a fission controller, an Oslo's glass block, sturdy casing, impregnated casing, reactor casing, launch pads, and railgun, and then just some random junk. Basically pistons are useful. Maybe status upgrade, not necessarily. Uh, and then purple slime is purple slime, ardite coins, nothing that very much useful. Maybe elf glass panes are used for something, but doesn't look like it. Uh, and I can't turn those back into these, maybe liquid fuel tanks. These are also useful. So we're just going to toss all of this into the system. Brrp. And brrp. Boom. Okay. Uh, and the rest of this, I'll check if anything has use. This is only in the numismatic dynamo. But I'm going to leave the crate here for now, and I'm just going to trash can the things that I don't need. The ice pillars, the elf glass panes. Well, I'm going to leave those. Maybe we'll build with them, I guess. But that could be cool. Pots from Rustic. No use, I don't think. Iron chandelier. This is also from Rustic. I don't know what this does. Looks like an upside-down hopper without a texture, kind of. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I think this is going to be it for today. I am hoping you enjoyed today's episode. Even though we did a lot of things on camera, you at least saw how this stuff works. Is this full? You're full. Why are you not putting into this one as well? Hold on. I know I'm ending off the episode. Give me this. You need to fix this. Because this is set on extract and it doesn't have an insert. Okay, now it's fixed. Wonderful. Okay, so again... Thank you again so much for watching. I'm hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Also, consider subscribing to see new videos. Support me on Patreon if you want. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.